Let's check this out. What do you think? Good. I would really appreciate some input. All right. Full creative freedom. And they said you were difficult to work with. <laughs> Pockets again? God dang it. Mm -hmm. Hello. Are you ready for some wholesome some content? Because I sure am. Basically, a few months back, someone sent me this picture the beloved childhood icon, Wishbone, and said something along the lines of, You need to make Frodo this outfit. And so here I am making Frodo this outfit. This is not the first time I have dressed up my dog in costume. First time I made him a little dapper outfit that made him look like a tiny professor. I know. The second time being I dressed him up as his namesake and also took that photo when I met Elijah Wood. I think he thinks I'm a little cuckoo but you know what? Worth it. Also, some of you said that Frodo looked like Samuel L. Jackson in this wig, and I would just, I would like to thank you for that image that I can never unsee when I look at these photos now. I feel like being someone who makes content on YouTube, the pressure is tangible sometimes when it comes to trying to come up with something that's clever and aesthetic. Sometimes you just need to make a little Robin Hood outfit for your dog. I guess you haven't heard. I'm the sheriff around these parts. But honestly, this is completely selfish. I just want to see Frodo in a little Robin Hood outfit. So yes, someone sent me this picture of... Oh my god, my brain just... Wishbone. Wow. Hello in there. there. Reached into the deepest depths of my memory banks in my brain office. Brought back such specific memories. Picture it. It's first grade. You're sitting in your classroom and you know that today is a scholastic book fair. So during class time, your group of ragtag six-year-olds go and take a trip to the library or wherever they set up the fair. You step into this world of magical delights, knowing damn well you didn't show your parents the pamphlet that came in a month prior, so you don't have any money. The room just smells like curiosity and plastic and those little erasers which probably the only thing you can actually purchase but it's okay because those are really cool erasers instead of looking at the books like all the other children you head straight for the little science kits dinosaur 3d puzzles and so yes that long spiel and long description aside wishbone was a staple of us 90s babies childhoods <sighs> so let's take a look at this costume handy dandy tablet here turn on please Probably should have turned this on before I started recording. If this was a TED talk, there'd be some awkward silence and uncomfortable coughs happening right now. <laughs> Thank you. Name one more human that's more impatient than me. I'll wait. Just kidding, no I won't. <laughs> If we take a look at your boy, you can see he is very dapperly dressed, very handsome, 10 out of 10. He protect, he attack, but most importantly, he give back. I was trying to explain this idea to Nicholas last night. He came across this picture and I don't think I've laughed this hard in so long. <laughs> Terrifying. So I think my general plan, figure out what I have here that's gonna work for this. If we do need to head to the thrift store and grab some scrap fabric, I just realized the title, Paw Prince of Thieves. And that level of punnery is just... So let us take a trip to my fabric stash. Let's go. We have arrived. The base of the outfit looks like a lovely khaki color. <laughs> hmm. It's something that I should probably go look for at the thrift store. Now this little capelet thingy he has, this, which is a tablecloth, is a whole lot more green than it looks on camera. So that's one thing we don't need to get. As far as the leather bits, I've had this for a while now, scraps for when I need it. I'm wondering, do I truly not have anything that I could just use? All the brown fabric in the world, yet I don't have what I need. Oh well. All right, head to the thrift store and try to find some fabric. But before we do that, of course, we need to consult with the talent. And I've heard he can be kind of a prima donna, so wish me luck. Mr. Frodo, sir. Um, call time was about an hour and a half ago, <laughs> so. 
It is at this point in the video that I realized I completely forgot to mention that we do have a sponsor, and one that would make our mystery solving boy very glad. So here is sponsor Rachel. Hello. Oh, that smells good. It smells like birthday. This video is sponsored by Hunt a Killer. This is spooky, huh? It's like a chef's kiss for your nose. I stand by the fact that I think they should make candle scents called burnt out candle. Sharks. Hunt a Killer is a monthly subscription box, is a murder mystery interactive game. You may have heard me talk about them before, my absolute favorite sponsor ever. You will get a box such as this. Within the box, you will find props, documents. Within each box, you also have a goal, eliminate a suspect very elegantly opened. Things that you need to go through, handwritten notes, newspaper articles. This one, me and Tommy are still working through, class of 98. But we've also done Curtain Call, which is their current campaign. Murder mystery in the 1930s. Everything that you get looks old and looks like it was actually from that time period. Pretty insane. The detail. We will just pop open a couple of cold ones. Diet Cokes. Farmer finds sheep mysteriously slaughtered overnight. That's a sheep. Farmer finds sheaf mysteriously slaughtered over nigh. We usually do one or two boxes per sitting. Now each box takes anywhere from one to two hours. Also part of the proceeds for every box go to Cold Case Foundation, which is a foundation that is dedicated to solving real life cold cases. So if you did want to go check out Hunt a Killer, which I strongly recommend, you can head over to huntakiller.com slash Rachel Maxi and use the code Rachel M for 20% off of your first box. Now let's get back to watching me make a cosplay for my dog. I would just like to say I'm so glad it's getting warmer out. The sun is shining. It's a little hot in here now that I've turned the, the air off. Slightly regretting it. You don't realize how much winter affects you until the sun comes out and all of a sudden you're like, oh, I love life. Except that's a lie. I completely know how much winter affects me, but you know what I'm saying. At the thrift store, slightly sweaty, I'm gonna go look for some fabric. Wish me luck. Hello, yes, here is me trying to balance clothes and also film at the same time, resulting in this lovely shot of this clothes hanger. Wow. So, I just got home. Aside from going in there for one specific item and coming out with $60 worth of tablecloths and curtains and bed sheets, you know, I found the one item I was looking for because it's so nice out. There are more people walking on the streets than I have ever seen in my entire life. After a very white knuckle ride home, didn't hit anyone. It was basically like Grand Theft Auto, trying not to hit anyone and alert the police. If you didn't play GTA and follow all of the traffic laws and stoplights, were you ever really that petrified of confrontation? Also, I was at a stop sign. There was this big truck that I was kind of waiting to take the turn out of politeness and cautiousness. After a few seconds of awkwardness, he was like, I ended up getting this suede jacket which has plenty of material and should work swimmingly. Are you ready to become the pop prince of thieves? Stealing from the trash and giving to your belly? Are you a little garbage boy? Hmm. You make sure mom and dad have to lock the trash every single night. Otherwise at 3 a.m. take a little midnight snack. I'm sorry, am I disturbing you? place is still covered in red glitter. <laughs> All right, sir. Let's take a gander at what we are going to make for you. So, a little bit of way. Oh. But what does your belly look like? Show me your belly wishbone. All right, bugaboo. Let's check this out, I think. Good? You're not even looking at it. I would really appreciate some input. All right, full creative freedom. What we like to hear. And they said you were difficult to work with. We got something like this. Focus. Hello. We got his little tunic. Green portion right here. It's a little strap for his quiver. Leather details at the bottom. Sort of like a peplum. We're gonna make your waist look snatched. 
That is the plan. First, figure out the tunic. Ooh, shoulder pads. I paid $12 for this. Are you kidding me? I would very much like to try this on so that we can go from there, you know what I'm saying? You got some schmutz on you, snoot. Oh, I've got some glitter on you, I'm so sorry. Oh my God, it's a mess. Um, yes, lovely. Okay. Thank you, sir. If you're one of those people who don't like to watch garments being more or less destroyed to make something else, then shield your eyes. What do you think about sleeveless, huh? You look like that guy from Breakfast Club. Don't you forget about me. <laughs> Shoulder pads. I banish thee. Could I have done that a lot neater with seam rippers? Yeah, probably, but that's showbiz, baby. And also, it's a dog costume. Mm -hmm. I know I'm gonna be out of your hair in like five minutes if I could just get you to stand. That would be very helpful. I know you're a busy man. Oh, darling. Breathtaking, really. Most handsome lad in Sherwood Forest, huh? No kisses. If you don't feel like sitting, that is entirely okay. Great, thank you. I forgot how weird dog bodies are. Oh, oh. Got sufficient bribery now, huh? Oh yeah, oh yeah, okay. Can you show everyone speak? Woof! 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 Stop choking yourself, just speak. Come on. Good boy. It stopped licking my arms. You're not gonna find any treat residue. This is hard. I am sweating like any delivery person that comes to our door. Huh. Let me take it all in. Oh my god. I think I should be able to do this on the other side. You are very alert as to what I'm saying. Thinking maybe I said one of your keywords. I don't remember saying anything or maybe it's just my tone. We will take you for a WALK later. I think we've got a base. Now let's go sew. Okay, so now that I have the base of the jerkin, now I'm going to start adding some of those leather strips to the armholes, parts in the back, and then of course the chest and stomach. Here we go. He's 110% done with me right now. So I took some strips of this faux leather, pinned it, and then bent it over. Kind of like Beckham. What's it like working with Frodo? It depends on who's asking. <laughs> you know, I think sometimes when you work with such an established talent, sometimes it can be a little intimidating. He definitely has a presence. I do sometimes feel like there's a little bit of a weird power dynamic going on. Sometimes he'll ask me to get him a coffee and you know, I just have to kind of gently remind him, you can't have coffee, you're a dog. But you know, it's an exciting collaboration. This is a big opportunity for me. The bespoke canine world is definitely, it's a dog eat dog world. Hmm? It's offensive. Can we edit that out? You know, he is my muse. Plain and simple. Overall, I'm just feeling really lucky and I'm feeling really excited to carry on with this project. I think that he's really gonna feel it. Really gonna feel himself in it and he's really gonna feel the part. I give this to you. All right, I think it is time. A little green capelet thingy. Excuse me. And to do that, I think the easiest thing to do, how wide we need this to be, how far down we need it to go, and then just draw out a shape. Double ply here so that I can sew them together and then probably turn them inside out. Sewing this was super fun yet super challenging. I basically just pivoted like my life depended on it. Pivot! Pivot! 
then I was able to turn it inside out like a very weird glove and bam, a capelet for your Kermit cosplay. Proto. And I do my little turn on the catwalk. Good job. Oh, Daddy gets to see how handsome. Wow. That fits you way better than anything in Petco I ever would. Uh, it's bespoke. Wow. wow. So now it's time to do the grommets. And to do that, I'm going to take my grommet making kit and also grommet log. Long time viewers or recent bingers, uh, I don't know, may recognize. Yeah. Thanks. Nice. Cool. Origin story. But to make lots of noise, here we go. Grommet for big brains. Take sharp circle, smash, make hole. Stick pointy metal bit in hole. Put shiny circle on top. Then we smash and you are done. Good job, big brain. Do you want to frisbee? Go play frisbee? Frisbee? Frisbee time! Editing this was very challenging. Do you want to... Frisbee? <laughs> move on to his little quiver and his hat. I love making miniature things and a dog size quiver actually sounds like the cutest thing I've ever heard of in my entire life so to do that. For this you're gonna take your scrap foam sheets you have lying around because that's a totally normal thing. You're gonna fold it over like a burrito and then we're gonna use our old friend all-purpose the f cement. You're gonna barge both sides Wait till it gets tacky, then roll that burrito. Then you're gonna trace a circle, but also get a really nice shot of your elbow. Cut it out, barge it, place, and then sand that baby. Now for the arrows, I took some spare dowels and some spare craft foam sheets, made the little feathers, a heck ton of them, in white and also in black. Then use my handy dandy glue gun, Put four feathers to a stick. And then did six arrows. I could not think of a good way to make the hat, so I took my leftover model magic and just started smooshing. Trying to form it the way his looks, this kind of came out like garbage and looked a little inappropriate at some points, so. I think this hat was left on for a total of 30 seconds and then we ended up taking it off, so. was an interesting experience. I never thought I would lace my dog into a bodice, but here we are. <laughs> You're very patient, thank you very much. You're a pleasure to work with. Was this a lot of effort for this? Absolutely. Selfishly, totally worth it. Okay, good. Oh. Good boy. 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 Good boy.
had fun watching as much as I had fun dressing up my son. Thank you again, Huntikoa, for sponsoring this video. If you want to check them out, head to huntikoa.com slash rachelmaxi and use my code rachelm for 20% off of your first box. I love you whether you're new or old to this channel. If you're new here and you feel like sticking around, feel free to subscribe. I upload every Friday and we have fun here. And I will see you in my next video. Bye! So let's take a little bit... No. Listen, geese. My neighbor's outside doing yard work. I really hope that this car is soundproof because otherwise she just heard me doing that. Okay, it's hot. I'm gonna go inside now. Is that crooked? Yes! I think there's a mouse over there. I can hear him go. Let's go investigate. Crikey. No, oh, oh, Frodo, that was me. Oh my god. Friend, I promise this won't be like one of my favorite childhood movies, Mouse Hunt. Except in terms of it ending with a glorious partnership in business. String cheese that always look really freaking delicious. All right then, keep your secrets. Where's my mic? Hey, where did I put you? That's the better question. Muted my mic into another dimension. I just had it. One mental breakdown later.